I bet you didn't know how powerful the Flipper Zero really is. This little device is more than just a cute dolphin. It's a hacker Swiss army knife. Seriously, this thing can do it all. And today we're diving deep, exploring 10 hacks you probably didn't know about. We'll uncover how this multi-tool device can unlock some serious tech potential. Whether you're a seasoned security expert or just curious about what this bad boy can do, stick around. We're going to uncover hidden features and advanced tricks that will make you see the Flipper Zero in a whole new light. We're talking about controlling your house, messing with signals, and maybe even freaking out a few friends. We'll walk you through setting up, customizing, and performing tech tricks with your Flipper Zero that will make you feel like you've got superpowers. So grab your Flipper, charge up that battery, and let's get our hands dirty. All right, let's kick things off by talking about what makes the Flipper Zero so special. This little device is basically a cyberpunk dream come true. Imagine controlling almost any electronic device with just one gadget. That's the Flipper Zero. It's like having a universal remote on steroids, but it's not just about switching channels on your grandma's TV. We're talking about interacting with the world in ways you never thought possible. The Flipper Zero can read RFID tags, emulate key cards, sniff out Bluetooth signals. It's nuts. Think of it like this. The Flipper Zero is a window into the invisible world of radio waves and signals that surround us all the time. It lets you peek behind the curtain, understand how things work, and maybe even mess with them a little bit. Now, before you run off and start hacking the mainframe, let me be clear. With great power comes great responsibility. We're going to be exploring some seriously powerful tools today, and it's important to use them ethically and legally. This isn't about causing chaos. It's about learning, exploring, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible with technology. Think of it like being a digital explorer, charting the unknown territories of the tech world. So if you're ready to dive in and unlock the full potential of your Flipper Zero, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a wild ride. Let's be real. Juggling a dozen different remotes for your TV, sound system, and that ancient air conditioner is a special kind of torture. But fear not, because the Flipper Zero is here to save the day and your coffee table. This little guy can learn and mimic the infrared signals from pretty much any remote control, making it the ultimate universal remote. Just point your existing remote at the Flipper, teach it the commands, and boom, you're in control. But here's where it gets really interesting. The Flipper Zero can store a ton of different remotes so you can finally ditch that drawer full of plastic dinosaurs. Plus, you can even customize the buttons to create your own custom remote layouts. Imagine this. You walk into your living room, tap a button on your Flipper, and the TV turns on, the lights dim, and your favorite playlist starts playing. It's like having your own personal Jarvis, but way less demanding. And it's not just limited to home entertainment. You can use the flipper to control your office projector, prank your coworkers with their adjustable desks. The possibilities are truly endless. Just try not to get fired, all right? Seriously though, the Flipper Zero's universal remote capabilities are incredibly powerful and surprisingly easy to use. It's one of those features that you never knew you needed until you have it and then you can't imagine life without it. So ditch the clutter, embrace the future, and let the Flipper Zero take control of your digital domain. All right, security gurus and lock-picking enthusiasts, this one's for you. We're diving into the world of RFID, and trust me, things are about to get interesting. For those who don't know, RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification, and it's used in everything from key cards and payment systems to tracking inventory. Now the Flipper Zero has this incredible ability to read, emulate, and even write RFID tags. That means you can essentially clone key cards, giving you access to, well, wherever that key card goes. But before you go all Ocean's Eleven on me, remember we're talking about ethical hacking here. Seriously, using the Flipper Zero to gain unauthorized access is a big no-no. But that doesn't mean we can't explore this technology responsibly and learn a thing or two about security in the process. For example, you can use the flipper to test the security of your own systems or to understand how RFID technology works. Imagine being able to analyze the RFID tags on products at the store or even create your own custom tags for fun projects. The possibilities are pretty much endless. Of course, with great RFID power comes great responsibility, so use your newfound knowledge wisely. 
The Flipper Zero's RFID capabilities are a powerful tool for learning, exploring, and yes, even having a little fun. Just remember to stay on the right side of the law and use your powers for good, not evil. Now let's move on to something a little less clandestine, but equally as cool NFC interactions. Trust me, this one's a game changer. Chapter 4. Okay, let's talk NFC, or near-field communication. You know, that thing your phone uses for contactless payments? Well, guess what? The Flipper Zero can do that too, and a whole lot more. We're not just talking about buying groceries with a flick of the wrist, although that is pretty cool. The Flipper Zero's NFC Reader Writer opens up a world of possibilities for automation and creative tech tinkering. Imagine this. You tap your flipper against an NFC tag on your nightstand, and your phone automatically connects to the Wi-Fi, sets an alarm, and dims the lights. Or how about this? You create a tag that, when scanned, instantly launches your favorite music app and starts playing your workout playlist. No more fumbling with your phone while you're trying to get pumped at the gym. And here's the best part. NFC tags are dirt cheap and readily available online. You can even get creative and make your own custom tags with different designs and colors. The possibilities are literally limited only by your imagination. The Flipper Zero lets you harness the power of NFC and integrate it into your daily life in ways you never thought possible. It's like having a personal assistant that fits in your pocket and doesn't judge your taste in music. So ditch the mundane, embrace the future, and let the Flipper Zero unlock the magic of NFC for you. Trust me, once you start automating your life with NFC tags, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Chapter 5 all right, let's dive into the world of Bluetooth, that invisible network that connects our devices like an intricate digital web. Now, the Flipper Zero has this sneaky little ability to sniff out Bluetooth signals, which can be incredibly useful for troubleshooting and security testing. Think of it like having X-ray vision for Bluetooth devices. You can see what devices are nearby, what kind of signals they're sending, and even potentially identify vulnerabilities. Now, before you go full-on digital detective, let's be clear, using the Flipper Zero to eavesdrop on Bluetooth communications is a big no-no. We're talking about ethical hacking here, folks. But that doesn't mean we can't use this tool responsibly to learn about Bluetooth security and improve our own digital hygiene. For example, you can use the Flipper to see if your devices are properly paired and secured or to identify any rogue devices that might be trying to connect. You can even use it to troubleshoot connection issues or to simply learn more about how Bluetooth technology works. It's like having a backstage pass to the world of wireless communication. The Flipper Zero's Bluetooth sniffing capabilities are a powerful tool for anyone interested in cybersecurity, digital forensics, or just understanding how our increasingly connected world works. Just remember to use your powers wisely and always respect people's privacy. Chapter 6 all right, folks, buckle up because we're about to enter the danger zone. This chapter is for the hardcore tech enthusiasts and aspiring secret agents out there. We're talking about signal sniffing and jamming, which is some seriously powerful stuff. Now, I'm legally obligated to tell you that using the Flipper Zero for any malicious activities like intentionally disrupting communications is a big no-no. We're talking fines, jail time, the whole shebang. But for educational purposes, let's explore the fascinating and potentially terrifying capabilities of signal manipulation. The Flipper Zero can be used to analyze and even disrupt various radio frequencies, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and even garage door openers. It's like having a portable EMP device, but without the whole apocalyptic blackout scenario. Imagine being able to temporarily disable the Wi-Fi at your local coffee shop, just to see the look on everyone's faces when their Instagram feeds freeze, or picture yourself casually walking by a car alarm and silencing it with a flick of your wrist. But seriously, folks, these capabilities are not to be taken lightly. Signal jamming can have serious consequences, and it's crucial to use this technology responsibly and ethically. Think of it like a powerful weapon. It can be used for good or evil, and it's up to you to choose the right path. If you're interested in learning more about radio frequencies and signal manipulation, there are plenty of legal and ethical ways to do so. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility, and it's up to you to use your knowledge wisely. All right, folks, it's time to talk about one of the most infamous hacking techniques out there, the bad USB attack. 
Now, before you start sweating, let me assure you we're not going to be turning your innocent little flipper zero into a weapon of mass digital destruction. But we are going to explore how this attack works and why it's so important to understand. Essentially, the bad USB attack exploits a vulnerability in how computers trust USB devices. By reprogramming a USB device, like a flash drive, hackers can inject malicious code into a target computer without any physical access. Now, the Flipper Zero, with its ability to emulate different USB devices, can be used to demonstrate this attack in a safe and controlled environment. Imagine plugging in your Flipper disguised as a harmless flash drive, into a friend's computer and watching as it automatically types out a message or opens a website. Of course, we would never condone using this technique for any malicious purposes. The goal here is to raise awareness about USB security and to emphasize the importance of being cautious about what devices we connect to our computers. The Flipper Zero, in this case, serves as a valuable educational tool, allowing us to understand and mitigate potential security risks. It's like having a digital lock picking kit. It's not about breaking into houses. It's about understanding how locks work so we can build stronger ones. Chapter eight. All right, let's revisit the world of infrared, but this time we're taking it up a notch. We already know the Flipper Zero can learn and mimic infrared signals from your TV remote, but did you know it can also control a whole range of smart devices? We're talking about smart lights, air conditioners, even those fancy robot vacuums that roam your house like miniature Roombas. The possibilities are pretty much endless. Imagine walking into your house and using your flipper to turn on the lights, adjust the thermostat, and even start brewing a fresh pot of coffee. And the best part is, you don't need to be a tech wizard to do it. The Flipper Zero's intuitive interface and extensive library of pre-programmed codes make it incredibly easy to control your smart devices with just a few taps. Of course, you can also create your own custom commands and sequences so you can control your entire smart home with the push of a button. It's like having a universal remote for the 21st century, but way cooler. So ditch the clunky apps, embrace the power of infrared, and let the Flipper Zero become the ultimate command center for your smart home. Chapter nine. All right, gearheads and electronics enthusiasts, this chapter's for you. We're diving into the world of GPIO pins, those little metal connectors that can turn your Flipper Zero into a powerful debugging tool for all sorts of electronics projects. GPIO stands for General Purpose Input Output, which basically means you can use these pins to send and receive electrical signals. This opens up a world of possibilities for interacting with and controlling external devices. Imagine being able to connect your flipper to an Arduino board and control LEDs, motors, sensors, you name it. Or how about using it to debug a faulty circuit board or test a new electronic component? The Flipper Zero's GPIO pins, combined with its open source nature and active community support, make it an incredibly versatile tool for anyone interested in electronics, hacking, or just tinkering with gadgets. It's like having a pocket-sized electronics lab that can go wherever you go. So, whether you're a seasoned engineer or just starting out with electronics, the Flipper Zero's GPIO pins offer a powerful and accessible way to explore the world of hardware hacking. Just remember to be careful. Don't electrocute yourself and always double check your connections. Chapter 10. All right, folks, it's time to unleash the full potential of your Flipper Zero with custom firmware. Now, before you start flashing random code onto your device, let's talk about what custom firmware is and why it's so awesome. Think of your Flipper Zero like a smartphone and the firmware as its operating system. Custom firmware is basically like installing a custom ROM on your phone. It allows you to replace the stock software with a modified version that can add new features, improve performance, and even change the entire look and feel of your device. The beauty of the Flipper Zero is that it's an open source platform, which means anyone can contribute to its development and create their own custom firmware. This has led to a thriving community of developers and hackers who are constantly pushing the boundaries of what this little device can do. Want to add support for new RFID protocols? There's a firmware for that. Want to turn your Flipper Zero into a Bitcoin wallet? Yep, there's a firmware for that too. The possibilities are literally endless. Of course, flashing custom firmware does come with some risks. 
If you're not careful, you could potentially brick your device, but with a little bit of research and caution, you can safely unlock a whole new world of possibilities with your Flipper Zero. Outro, well, there you have it, folks. We explored 10 incredible hacks with the Flipper Zero from using it as a universal remote to diving deep into advanced cybersecurity features like bad USB and signal scanning. This little device truly is a technological marvel, packing a ridiculous amount of power into such a small package. Remember, the Flipper Zero is a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for good or bad. With great power comes great responsibility. Always use these capabilities legally and ethically. Don't be that person who ruins it for everyone else. Be responsible, be respectful, and most importantly, have fun exploring the fascinating world of technology. If you enjoyed this breakdown, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tech deep dives. Until next time, stay curious, stay creative, and keep on hacking.